Alright YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would take a sneak peek at the Pan-European Swedish Tier 4 destroyer, the Klaus Hun. Now the Klaus Hun is still currently a work in progress. All stats and statistics will probably change before it's the live server. Okay, so I know most of you have heard this before, but there may be some new people watching this video who haven't seen my previous videos on the Pan-European DD line. The main thing is they do not have smoke, but they do have fast torpedoes that do less than average damage. The Klaus Hun has two times three eight kilometer torpedoes that do a maximum damage of 7,533 and run at 64 knots. Now there is a bug in the port stats that sometimes show the torpedo range as nine kilometers, but in game they're eight, and if I mess up and say nine, forgive me. The Klaus Hun also has two times one and one times two 120 millimeter Bofors, which are quite good at this tier. Now we're going to take a look at her modifications, her up upgrades, her ammunition and consumables, and the ship's captain that I have assigned to her, as all these will affect the stats to come. So, first of all, there are two modifications that you can do, and one is the hull modification, and the other is the gun fire control system modification. Now when you first get the ship, you'll have 7,900 hit points. And when you take the modification, you'll go up to 8,000 hit points. Plus a little bit in survivability, artillery, and AA defense. A little bit in concealment. When you first get the ship, you'll have a maximum firing range of 8.6 kilometers. But once you research the modification, it will increase to 9.5. For your ammunition and consumables, the ship has HE and AP, along with torpedoes. Consumable slots, slot number one, damage control party, and slot number two, engine boost. For your upgrades, slot number one, I took main armaments modification. And slot number two, I took damage control system. For the exterior of the ship, I have the Regina Marina camouflage mounted. These are the signals that I have. And I do have Sierra Mike mounted, so that is plus 5% when we get around to the ship stats. Flags. I have the community contributor flag mounted along with the flag of Sweden. Now, I have a 19-point captain assigned to the ship, but I'm only using 10 of the 19 points, and this is how I have those 10 points distributed. Tier 1 skill, priority target. Tier 2 skill, last stand. Tier 3 skill, torpedo armament expertise. And Tier 4, concealment expert. So, as the ship sits right now this is the stats concealment she has a detectability range by sea of 5.5 kilometers and by air 2.2 maneuverability 39.6 knots maximum speed with sierra mike turning circle radius 500 meters with a rudder shift of 2.1 seconds she has an aa defense score of 13 with two times one 40 millimeters. Torpedoes. She has two times three 533 millimeters. They run at eight kilometers at a speed of 65 knots. And they are center line torpedoes so they can fire over each side. Artillery. She has two times one 120 millimeter Bofors that are those, and she has one turret that has two. So one times two 120 millimeter Bofors, and they fire out to a range 9.5 kilometers. They reload in 5.5 seconds, turret traverse 18 seconds, 
maximum dispersion 86 meters maximum he shell damage 1700 and maximum ap shell damage 2000 survivability 8000 hit points with armor of 10 millimeters pretty much everywhere so this is the Klaus Hoon. Um, why don't we see what she can do in game? Here we go. All right. Let's take a look at some of these other destroyers. Pura Wang. He can't hit me with torpedoes. Clemson. Another Clemson. So, yeah. I'm mostly worried about the two Clemsons. Pura Wang. I think I'll be able to be in a gunfight. And he can't hit me with torpedoes, and I can hit him, so I think I have the advantage there. So, let's make sure I don't run up on these two Clemsons. I run up on one. And that'll be a fair fight. If I run up on two. May not work out so good for me. So we are just gonna head straight forward. Instead, I like to go off to the right sometimes. I'm gonna head straight forward and just see if I can get in some early spotting. My detection is six kilometers, and that's not bad for tier four here. St. Louis right there. That's got lots of guns. He could be pretty deadly. We might try to hit him with some torpedoes. Oh, I lost him. Where's he at? There he is. All right, we're gonna swing this around. Oh, I'm detected. Who is detecting me? I got two ships aiming at me. Three. We're gonna engine boost activated. Take Billy Big Steps. See if we can vacate the area. But getting detected might have just ruined that torpedo strike. I don't know. There's a Clemson pushing that corner over there. Oh, looks like I can get a couple. Nice. Nice. He just lost three quarters of his health. So the Clemson has got the friendly Freyat turned around and heading back the other way. So I'm going to head over and see if I can assist with taking care of this Clemson. Now I could shoot at him, but I don't want him to know I'm coming. I want him to get comfortable hiding in that smoke screen. And then... Let me get well within his detection so that he can't get undetected from me. I think he can outrun me. My engine boost is going to be... Oh, wow. Those must have been heading toward the Wyoming, and I'm very lucky that they ran out of range. But what I was going to say is I'm not the fastest destroyer. And if he saw me coming, he could just, you know, vacate the area. So, Engine hopefully I will proximity detect him. Torpedo, 
torpedoes dead ahead. Looks like he might be right over here in this corner of the smoke screen. So let's drop some torps right over here. Let's see. Okay. Nothing. He must have left. I should be getting him by now. Dang it. He just left. Oh, I see him on the minimap. So I don't want to go that way and have that Wyoming have free shots on me. So I'm going to come back around the island this way. Kuma's almost dead, so I'm not really worried about him. He is dead now, so I'm really not worried about him. The Clemson looks like he's trying to get torpedoes on the Wyoming. Okay. All right. Enemy destroyer blown up. That was kind of a kill steal. But you don't want to leave them alive to torpedo. What is that? More torps. Where'd those come from? There's the Pier Wayne. You don't want to leave these destroyers alive. Be pumping torps into your capital ship, so sorry for the kill still dude, but All right, that Pierre Wang is watching me. I'm gonna make him think I'm coming around this side of the island and now I'm undetected. And I'm gonna change course just in case he's like trying to double back to keep the island between us and I don't think he is now. It looks like he's just going straight away. Got him spotted, so I might as well shoot at him. He can't really torp me, so I'm not worried about that. I am worried about him just running away from me, though. Try to get some torps off on the carrier, I think. Need to kill him. The carrier got him. Pretty much all of my damage has come from that St. Louis that took four torps. So, yeah, it looks like I got a little bit of travel time. Engine boost deactivated. And I just ran out of engine boost. So we got a little bit of travel to head over to the next engagement. Lots of stuff happening on the home front. Gotta go out of town this weekend to 
my sister's funeral. That really sucks. Selling a house. What? I mean, busy, busy, busy. And getting ready to drop some torps on the Orion. Hopefully this Tenryu doesn't run up beside me. See if this guy is going to come out from behind this island, or I don't even think he's going to make it that far for me to torp him. He's getting pummeled. It's so small. What is it? V A R. Is that Y H E? Vera. I have no idea how to pronounce it. And don't try to phonetically tell me in the. Ch I can't re read phonetics, so <laughs> it won't help. But anyway, he's coming this way, and maybe he'll eat some torps. I don't know what way he's going. Where is he going? Alright, is he coming? Oh no, I'm about to get spotted. That will really bite. Oh, he's going down. I might as well change my target. After that carrier, engine boost activated. So I'm spotted now. Let's shoot this guy. guy oh I should have just shot him with my guns man I was wasting time messing with those torpedoes I could have just gunned him down 134,000 credits 3100 XP with 332 free XP 61,000 damage 9 target hits, 11 torpedo hits, 
Two incapacitations, four ships destroyed, caused flooding four times. Team score. Second place in the team. Detailed report. 22,000 on there, that was good. 14 on the Orion, that was good. Yep, yeah, 1,500, 1,100, 2,100 on the St. Louis. Correction, 21,000 on the St. Louis. So, not too bad for an ex-government employee. So, the Klaus Hoon. This is a pretty decent little ship. I've enjoyed playing it. I have four more work-in-progress destroyers that I had every intention of showing you but with all the stuff going on right now i don't know that i'm gonna get around to doing that before they take them away but anyway if you've liked this look at the klaus hun hit that like button if you didn't don't subscribe if you would but as always thanks for watching i really appreciate it nerd out